ever thought about what happens to cars when they've reached the end of their life? Most people assume they just sit in junkyards, but the truth is far more fascinating. These old vehicles are crushed, shredded, and transformed into something brand new. Let's break down the incredible recycling journey step by step. Before a car is recycled, it undergoes a crucial first step, depollution. Think about it. Cars are filled with fluids like oil, coolant, and fuel. These need to be drained to prevent leaks during recycling. Workers carefully remove these liquids and also take out other hazardous materials like batteries and airbags. Did you know airbags contain explosive materials that can be dangerous if not handled properly? Even tires are removed because they require a different recycling process. This step ensures everything is safe for the environment before the crushing begins. Here's where things start to get intense, crushing. Special machines, like the hydraulic crusher, flatten entire cars into compact metal slabs. Some of these machines can generate over 150 tons of crushing force. Imagine that. Overbuilt balers or logger crushers, like these, are beasts that can crush a car in just a few seconds. Crushing makes it easier to transport vehicles to the next stage of recycling. Plus, compact cars take up far less space. Ever heard the term car pancake? That's exactly what these machines create. Now that the car is flattened, it's time for shredding, the third step in recycling. Shredders are massive machines equipped with spinning hammers that tear the car into tiny pieces. These bits of metal, often the size of a golf ball, are much easier to sort and repurpose. The Mezzo Etarip Shredder is one of the most advanced machines out there, known for its precision and speed. Imagine a car being shredded in under a minute. It's both mesmerizing and efficient. Here's another fun fact. Shredded metal is used to make everything, from skyscrapers to new cars, auto parts, and a bunch of other really cool stuff. Junkyard Heavy Electric Magnet Machine. Picking up scrap in our truck, fun for kids. After shredding, the real magic begins, separation. Powerful magnets swoop in to extract ferrous metals like steel. Non-ferrous metals, like aluminum and copper, are removed using an eddy current separator, a machine that uses magnetic fields to sort them out. Meanwhile, plastics, rubber, and foam are sorted using air classifiers or optical sorters. This fourth step ensures every material is ready for its next purpose, whether it's becoming a new car part or something entirely different. Here's where the transformation really begins, the fifth step. 
Once sorted, metals are sent to smelters or steel mills to be melted down. The melted steel is then molded into new products, everything from construction beams to bicycles. Now, did you know, recycling steel saves up to 75% of the energy compared to producing it from raw materials? So, the next time you see a shiny new car, part of it might have come from a recycled one. Tires and plastics might seem like junk, but they're also incredibly valuable. Old tires are shredded into small pieces and repurposed as playground surfaces, asphalt, or even fuel. Plastics from dashboards and bumpers are melted down and turned into new car parts, furniture, or household items. The Eagle Tire Baler is an impressive machine that compacts tires into dense bales making transportation and recycling more practical and cost-effective. Its innovative design helps address the challenge of managing discarded tires, which are otherwise bulky and difficult to store or transport. Isn't it amazing how every part of a car gets a second life? What about windshields and windows? They're not wasted either, recycled in the seventh step. Windshields are made of laminated glass, which means they have a plastic layer for safety. During recycling, the glass is crushed and separated from the plastic. Recycled auto glass can become bottles, fiberglass insulation, or even brand new windshields. So, that broken glass isn't just trash, it's the start of something new. Artificial intelligence helping recycling center sort waste. Recycling is constantly evolving, thanks to technology. Many facilities now use AI and robotics to sort materials with incredible accuracy and create new products. What really happens to used electric car batteries? You might be surprised. Electric vehicle batteries, which are tricky to recycle, are dismantled to extract valuable materials like lithium and cobalt. Machines like battery shredders, crushers, and specialized recycling systems are designed to handle EV batteries efficiently. These machines are crucial for recycling the valuable materials found in EV batteries, such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, and manganese, which can be reused to make new batteries. These innovations not only reduce waste, but also help meet the growing demand for sustainable recycling solutions. And that's how old cars are crushed and recycled. It's an incredible process that transforms junk into something valuable. From shredders to magnets, every step plays a role in giving vehicles a second life. So next time you see a junk car, remember, it's not just waste, it's an opportunity to save energy, reduce pollution, and help create a greener planet.